end as uh, referee Andy Davis gets the game underway. Comes back to Heffley on the right hand side at the back, big strong unit, and he uh, swings it cross field as well. That's an unbelievable ball to the left hand side, headed forward down the channel. Well, there's a challenge inside the box. The referee has given the penalty. It's Heffley with a cross field ball. Floyd Aite with the tackle. Oh, was it Floyd? Sorry, tackle. yeah, I thought it was Ryan. It was Floyd Aite. Yeah, you're right. Now they're bouncing behind the goal. The Huddersfield play, uh, fans. It looked a soft spot kick for me, Jim. It was a great diagonal ball from Heffele, the central defender. He worked it from right to left, but then enabled their player just to put a cushion header through to the runner, and unfortunately he was the wrong side. Here comes the penalty. Can he keep it out? Oh, he got very close, Marcus Bettinelli, but it's in the net after just four minutes. Plenty of time to come back. Scott Malone in for Sean Aluko, 20 yards from goal. Looking for Malone in behind the fullback. Finds him, pulls it back across. Oh, it's turned away from in front of goal. Schindler, I think, with a clearance, but Fulham still have possession. Here's Stefan Johansson into the penalty area, left-hand side, pulls it back. Oh, first-time shot from Ryan Sessignon. Jamie Ness inches over the crossbar. Took it first time, struck it well, could have been 1-1. Well, the quality's out there, Jamie, that's the main thing. As good as these are and as brightly as they've started, and obviously massive advantage already at home, the early goal, but we're good enough to turn this one round. Here's Tom Kearney, we've got the quality out there. Tom finds... Johansson has gone across to the right hand side back for Kearney, slides it in for Aluko little slip through for Aite, Scott Malone's running onto it inside the penalty area yes! Whoa! Yes! Scott Malone has done it again it's a terrific goal from Fulham there's the equaliser Scott Malone with the finish Absolutely brilliant from Scott Malone. He gets forward so, so well. We mentioned about the space being in wide areas and what a crucial goal this could be in the context of the season. The Huddersfield player slipped. It just allowed that little bit of movement over on the right-hand side as we attacked. We shifted it from right to left and Malone didn't panic. He got round the Huddersfield player and then drilled it across the goalkeeper. For a fullback. he's such a calm finisher. Different uh, feel around the place altogether. Yeah, one thing I would say, we need to make sure that we're getting a bit tighter to players as they whip those balls in there. It was a free header for Schindler. Fortunately, he didn't get enough on it. We could be in here. Floyd Aite breaking down the right-hand side. It was a long kick out from Marcus Bettinelli. Good footwork from Floyd. Into the box, was he tripped? He goes That's over. A penalty. It's a penalty to Fulham. And Floyd Aite, who conceded one at the other end after just four minutes, has won Fulham a penalty. Good position persistence from him there was two defenders he seemed to get the ball trapped between his feet to a certain extent but he bundled his way into the box almost invited the challenge in Jamie and I think there was a foul there difficult to say but uh, he's awarded the referee an opportunity for Fulham to go in front it's a definite spot kick the player had an initial sort of tug and looked to try and nibble at his ankles he didn't quite get him Floyd Aite then saw that the defender was the wrong side of him and again as he made a connection it's a definite spot kick for me yep. a big big opportunity now for Tom Kearney it was one of those that was clearly a foul and anywhere on the pitch would have been a free kick but sometimes they don't give them they just hesitate Tom Kearney away at Norwich last time on the road for Fulham scored from the spot can he do it again the Fulham captain to turn this one around and put Fulham 2-1 in front in the 20th minute steps up with his left foot and he rolls it in that's an absolute quality penalty from Tom Kearney goalkeeper went the wrong way he just stroked it in and having been a goal behind after just four minutes Fulham go in front on 20 and the Fulham fans 1500 or so away to our right Oh, bouncing. Jamie, what a turnaround. But a lovely finish from Tom Kearney. At long last, the captain once again stepping up. He did it, didn't he, in the recent win where we uh, picked up the three points and said, yeah, OK, I'm going to take control of this situation. Well, he's done it again. Leading from the front, Tom Kearney. Tommy Smith went with him. He's uh, lost out. And then Moy has managed to turn Tim Ream. This could be dangerous. He feeds it. Looking for Lolly. Scott Malone, little sprint there, though. He's always going to get a great defending from Scott Malone. Finds Ryan Sessignon, who helps it forward. Stefan Johansson with a little header for Sean Aluko. Lovely footwork from him. Trying to do him there. But he's got away. Sean Aluko working his way in field. Tom Kearney's pushed him a little bit too wide. Edge of the penalty area. Fredericks on the overlap. Tom Kearney finds Ryan Sessignon. Left hand side. Oh, the sh shot was blocked. It comes back to Johansson. Yes! Three get in! To 
from Stefan Johansson makes it three. That's a terrific finish. And that's lovely football from Fulham. It's a different class, this, Jamie. After the start, we had to come back like this and dominate and turn it around. The initial shot was blocked. Comes back to Stefan Johansson. He just set himself up, took his time. There's no way in the world this is going anywhere else but in the net. 3-1 to Fulham. This is magic. Absolutely brilliant. And Sean Aluko take a bow. What a game he's having. He's played some lovely balls all around the park. And then he's over here on the touchline in front of us. Managed to ride a couple of challenges. And you can hear the Fulham fans away to our right-hand side. They're singing, we are going up. And it's no surprise, Jim. What a display this is after going behind at a pressure cooker environment like this other sides might have crumbled there's real solidity there's a strong spine and there's a genuine belief but here's Huddersfield Joe Lolly finds Billing Tommy Smith on the overlap the low ball in well it uh, came off Tim Ream and they won a corner in the end I think it was uh, Thomas Callis who's put it behind for the corner good uh, last ditch brave challenge coming in from Thomas Callis because they got a bit lucky really with a cross, Jamie, from Tommy Smith. It deflected off Tim Ream and uh, turned into a more dangerous ball maybe than it would have been. Good well, defending from Thomas Callis. Very good defending, defending that near post. And I tell you what, Quain has caught him looking to try and win the ball. No real malice intended, but he's caught him on the Achilles and that's painful. Yeah, saw one corner coming in and it's headed wide. Well, Billing got really close, not seeing replays, but that looked a bit worrying, Jamie. He found it on the run, the glancing header was only just wide of that far post. It's important, I think, that we go in at half-time and it's two goal league intact. Hefle gets it back to the keeper, Danny Ward, and out it goes for Schindler, who's moved across into the left-back position momentarily. And under pressure, gives it away, Stefan Johansson's through. Well, it's 4-1 yeah! to Fulham. The flag stays down. This is unbelievable, Jamie, 4-1. They gave it away, they did a bit of a Fulham there, to be fair, messing about at the back. Stefan Johansson intercepted it, Sean Aluko didn't know whether to stick or bust, really stick or twist in case he went offside, he kept out of it. Stefan Johansson carried it into the box, didn't need any help, Jamie, he's tucked it away, this is unbelievable. I'm almost lost for words, the high press again proving very effective from Stefan Johansson. He's got wondrous energy, we mentioned about the performances that he's been putting in in recent weeks, and what a time to go 4-1 ahead, just ahead of half-time. Slavisha is really going to enjoy this half-time team talk. Expect the paint to come off the walls for David Wagner. We've still got three minutes to go between now and half-time. Three minutes stoppage time. This is unbelievable. Fulham leading by four goals to one. If you're just joining us for the second half as we get it underway, tracking back with Moy. Sliding challenge comes in, though, from Huddersfield player who wins it back into the path of uh, Billing. The shot was blocked, comes out to Hogg. Here's Van Lepara onto the right foot. Oh, I've got to be honest, that was inches wide, Jamie. My heart was in my mouth there because I thought that was curling into the far corner. I don't think Marcus could have done anything about it. But Van Lepara with his right foot, thankfully, just the wrong side of the post from their point of view. And find Tommy Smith, but uh, nearly got in behind him again. Here's Moy with a long ball forward, looking for Brown. Chested back towards oh the edge of the box by Dennis Adoy. That's dangerous, and that's a great save by Marcus Bettinelli because Quayna was in, and Dennis Adoy will be... Uh, well, the least he will be giving Marcus Bettinelli is a big pat on the back. He ought to be buying him a drink there, Jamie, because a bit too casually he went with the chest. I think tried to lay it off, obviously, for one of the Fulham defenders, but into the path of Quayner. But play on because it falls for Lucas Piazon. Oh. He's turned into a problem there with Schindler. Tom Cairn, he's under pressure, has still managed to keep possession. Fulham is Floyd Aite. That's lovely stuff. Scott Malone, a <laughs> right foot. Well, he's trying <laughs> to tuck it away there with his right foot. And he runs away with his uh, head in his head. There's something very, very likeable about Scott Malone for me. You could tell he was sick to himself, oh no, it's on me wrong foot, but he just tried to uh, sneak it in. But hopefully never will. Here's uh, Aaron Moyer for Huddersfield. Just uh, waiting for the whistle now, really. He's checking his watch. And there it goes. What a terrific result for Fulham. The Fulham fans are way to our right, are on their feet.